everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some goals that I have to set for 2021. It honestly sounds so weird to say 2021 out loud, <laughs> but it's here and I really wanted to set some reading goals this year and make a video about it. I haven't done this ever in the past and I just think I have some reading goals that I want to meet this year. I'm making a video, writing them down in my bullet journal. That is going to be ways to make sure that I achieve these goals. So looking back at 2020, there are some things that <laughs> I wanted to do and then didn't do. So that's kind of what I'm carrying over into this year. And like, obviously 2020 was just a very strange year. I think everyone can agree there. So you know what? I, you know, I'm not like mad about it. I'm not upset, but I just think that I should make goals so that I meet them. So the first being the first is, I mean, it's not 2021 yet when I'm filming this, but I did end up reading somewhere between 55 to 60-ish books in 2020. In the past year, I think the year before I read like 116 and the year before that I read like 102. So definitely almost like way, way less than I've read in the past, which is totally fine because this year has been weird. But I think like a reasonable goal going forward every year would be to read about 75 books. I think that that's a reasonable pace for me. And this is just something, you know, your worth as a reader isn't determined by how many books you read. But I think this is for me like a pace that I want to be reading at to be able to kind of get to all the books that I want to enjoy because I feel like I definitely didn't get to everything that I wanted to enjoy this year. I feel like I'm always pretty good at staying up on YA release so you know I, I don't feel like I need to set that as a goal but there are some other areas that I want to work on. I think first and foremost I really want to consciously be incorporating diverse titles into the books that I read. I think that I maybe didn't do as good of a job as I could have done on that in 2020 and I really just you know want to make an effort to be reading own voice novels, be reading voices books from diverse perspectives, um, books from black authors, book from LGBTQIA authors, um, just like any anything and everything, diversity, I think that I can up the ante with my consumption of that kind of literature. So I kind of just, you know, need to remind myself that I need to be making a better effort at that. The next goal that I have is that I really want to be keeping with my 2021 bullet journal. My 2020 bullet journal did not really happen. It just transformed into a k-pop journal so i'll be having a separate journal for like k-pop and life spreads and all that different stuff and then a different journal dedicated to reading and here she is she's right here i just think that this journal is literally perfect for me like it's just my aesthetic you know so i've already started it and i am going to be doing a separate video on like setting up my 2021 bullet journal but this also has some 2020 like wrap-up spreads because i didn't do bullet journaling all of 2020 and journaling is just something that's really important to me. It really helps me relax. I love it and I just think it's really important for me to have creative outlets because I always feel like I have this creative energy that I don't get to use in my day-to-day -day life because like as my day job, I'm a scientist with that's very analytic, data focused, which I love. I love that, but I have this other creative side of me that I feel like need need some outlets for that and I don't, I'm not like, you can go to like the traditional like creative outlets, like dancing or drawing or anything like that's so like bullet journaling and of course having my booktube channel or some of my outlets for that but i do think it's important for me to kind of have a bullet journal so that i can kind of combine like the organizing side of me with the creative side of me and it's something that i really really enjoyed when i did it in 2019 and i'm really really sad i didn't do it in 2020 so i want to be keeping up with it doing monthly spreads like letting the journal bring me joy the next goal that I have is I really, really want to read more manga. This has been something that I've said in the past and I haven't been that great at sticking to it, mostly because I don't always want to be buying manga series because they, there are a lot of them and they take up a lot of space if I were to fully like read what I want. So I'm trying to look into ways to read them digitally. Like I did see that my library has some digital manga. Um, I might even look into going to the library and getting them physically just because I have like a car now so I can get to the library easier. So, you know, that's like also an option for me. But I do want to be reading it more. I feel like I never even thought of reading manga before a booktube and I feel like I haven't been reading as much as I want to because like I just haven't been and I want to consciously be picking up more series. 
So like I have read Death Note, just the first volume. I have read Waiting, Summer Waiting for Spring. I'm currently working through Yona of the Dawn. And I actually just got Tokyo Ghoul from Isabella for Christmas. Thank you so much, Isabella. I love you. And it's funny because she's like actually funded like my manga collection because she's also gotten me Death Note and oh, she's gotten me Full Metal Alchemist as gifts as well. Um, I haven't read Full Metal Alchemist either. So uh, yeah, I just feel like I am slacking in this department. They're really fun and easy to read. They're a great way to also like increase the, you know, the number of books that you read per year because they are pretty fast, but like they're just like a great like form of literature and I need to stop slacking on it. So um, that's kind of, that's definitely something that I want to focus on this year. The next goal that I want to focus on is to be continually making fantasy romance recommendation videos as well as reading those books. So I made my like video of like adult fantasy romance books a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed doing the research for that. Obviously, I haven't read all 10 books that were on there because they are series, but I do want to be continually doing research and seeing what's coming out in this kind of like emerging genre and keeping up on it, giving people recommendations because it's something I really enjoy, um, as well as trying to read like at least a book or two from it each month and kind of like bringing that content to you all here on BookTube because I just feel like it's a genre that I really am connected I'm attached to and I want to produce content for it. My next goal is that I want to continue to be writing Goodreads reviews for every book that I read. I have done this consistently for the past two years, just about, yeah, right, 2019 and 2020. I did some in 2018, but not really. Um, I just really enjoy writing Goodreads reviews and especially if I write them when they're fresh in my mind and keep on top of it, it's a lot easier when it comes to wrap ups because I have written out my thoughts. I don't even need to refer to the review as much. So it makes like filming me's life easier. So I should stay on top of that. I, yeah, I have some catching up to do for the end of 2020, but I think it can be done. And I just enjoy writing reviews. I mean, that's the whole thing, that's why I'm here. So definitely a goal that I've kept in the past and I want to sustain. And I just have two more little goals left. Okay, I don't want to go get the books that I own because they're literally on top of the bookshelf and that's kind of annoying for me to go grab. But I want this to be the year that I start reading Brandon Sanderson because I haven't like really, re I've read his YA stuff, but like his adult fantasy like Cosmere that has like all the million bajillion books. Like I know it's something I'm gonna love. I started The Final Empire literally a year ago and DNF'd it, not because I didn't like it, but because I was just completely not in the mood for that kind of book and kind of just like didn't read for like two weeks after that. Like I was just going through a time. So that is what it is, but I do want to finally get to those books, get to the, the Mistborn trilogy at least, but hopefully get through more of his works. Even though those books are huge, I think it, the payoff will be fantastic. And the last goal that I have is that I want to read more middle grade. I feel like middle grade is a genre that I have, is a genre in age groups that I've kind of been ignoring. Um, this includes like, I want to go back and reread Percy Jackson. I don't even know what counts as a reread and an initial read because I don't know where I read up to when I was a kid. I read the first two Percy Jackson books last year and I haven't touched a series since. I think I need to go back and like read all of Percy Jackson. I just started reading Keepers of the Lost City series I love it, like I just love the vibes of middle grade and like it's just so wholesome and it just makes my heart happy. Um, so I definitely want to explore more books in that genre. I've also heard that Morgan Crow is a really good book so I think I will be checking that out as well. And you know, there's a Harry Potter sized hole in my heart because JK Rowling is a turf and I want to replace that with other wonderful middle grades that are just as good. So I think that's it for me. This was really fun to make, just like a good time to list out all the things that I want to consciously be keeping in my mind with my reading selections in 2021. Please let me know down below what your reading goals are for 2021. I would really, really love to hear them. And let's just chat in the comments. Love chatting with you guys in the comments so that I know, you know, like what everyone's working towards this year. So have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.